Hi. I've just done this as a demo. Uh, it's a country lane. I, I made it up from a photograph I took out of the bus window three or four weeks ago in Kent. The the road the, or the path that I, I show in this demo here is just is a is a not a main road, but it's a a two lane carriageway, one one up, one down. But I want to, I was impressed by a hedgerow. And, and, and the landscape showing um, rapeseed fields, particularly lovely and very strong yellow colour this time of year. So um, I'll, it just went a bit muddy, so I'm going to just work from it and see what we come up with. Usual palette of lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. I'll just give this a little my brush. This is a uh, Fabriano, 130 pounds. That should be a raw sienna, but it's gone a bit blue because I didn't clean my brush. So let's. Uh, right, we'll put a bit of bit of nice strong blue in the sky just to. Just a little bit. I don't, want over, I don't want the sky too dark. Just a bit of shadow, cloud. That'll do. Right, just let that soak in just for a few seconds. And as, it, as the paper grows, as it will, just re clip it pretty tight. Right, okay. Uh, now to create the illusion of depth, I'm going to use some of those sky colours in, in the background here. If you put blue behind your middle distance, it will give that impression that the landscape goes back much further than you've actually painted it. Right, just get that fairly level there. I'm going to put some heavier stuff in front of that. But I want to put these rapeseed fields in. I've got a bit of a collar there. I'm just going to shut my windows up. The breeze has uh, picked up and I don't want it to flip. I've got lots of lovely light in, in the studio here. Big Phalanx windows and they're, they're lovely. Right, now lemon yellow, just pure le lemon yellow, just just to go in, but quite thick. Right, okay, I'll give that a bit of a dry. Take your headphones off. Okay, so I'm going to put this hedge, hedge row in now, but I want it nice and warm. So. A bit of blue in the background of that. Pull out the loose hairs. And a bit of Payne's Grey with a, well actually a bit of Ultramarine and a bit of shadow in the grass or in the hedgerow, shall I say. Nice colours, rich. Lots of hairs coming out of this brush still. Okay, let's build up the uh, 
some of the background, but I don't want the background to merge with the foreground because that is where it all goes wrong. So if I put in the, the, the nice hedgerow, I'm using the paint, I've kept it in a Ziploc bag overnight and I'm trying to paint with tube consistency colour. Okay, let's just flick out a few grasses in there. I will do the similar stuff the other side. I'm going to go with a, with a nice yellow, but different from the yellow there. So I'm going to mix a bit of sienna with it. Burn sienna, that is. A bit of blue. Uh, let's get that up there. Nice yellows, Sienna. Just mixing all colours to keep keep the uh, foreground interesting. Okay, we've got plenty of colour in there. Oh, we just some nice burnt sienna. Just dry brushed over that. <coughs> right now, I'm going to do the background. Now I'm going to use a bit of blue, a bit of burnt sienna, but I want it on the blue side. So that it goes, it stretches backwards. A bit more water, blue, and burnt sienna. Now that's where I got it wrong before by doing too much behind there, too dark there. It, it had the same tones as the foreground and it didn't quite work. So you can see what I'm trying to do is put these in a, in a darker blue tone but lighter or darker than what's behind and I'm using what's behind to stretch the, the landscape back. Okay so let's put in the path to remind us that we've got a path there. Not a road, it was a road but it's uh, Put some hedgerow further up here. I'm going to try and take my path round. Well, oh. there somewhere. That's a. Uh, Just going off into the distance here. Right, a bit of grassy stuff. Okay, so I'm going to 
recess the paper and just move that around a little bit. Okay. Right, so I'm, I want this to have the hedgerow, this to have just have a, a bank with uh, a, a one large tree in it. So let's uh, blue, the sienna. Want that dark in there to, to uh, counter change against the background. So just mixing burnt sienna in here. So I'll let my shadow on that side. Right, let's go in now with some some of this here. Just to, I'll use the wiggle on that. So just paints grey or burnt sienna with a bit of blue. Try and slide brushes a bit of this too. And we'll have some just some bits of grass, this bramble, just stuff in there generally. Right, okay, I'm going to kill it. That's, I'm going to have to make one of those just a little bit uh, more dominant than the others. Otherwise it'll just look like a regiment of trees, so get that there. Right, now we're going with the hake again. You need a cloth when you're doing this to, to take off the excess water. Right, this is my basic tree colour. I don't know this coming up here. Oops. Now,
Right, now we'll, we'll put in a bit of, bit of uh, green. Like sort of spring green because it was May, early May when we went to this part of Kent. I'll just scrape out a bit of light off of here. I'm going to turn that into a silver boat. What's a smaller bit there? Put in some leaves on, on here. Just a, a hint of stuff going in there. Put some. Weeks. Right now, I'm going to put in some some ivy climbing up here. Do a bit in there as well, really. Just okay. Now, with a wriggle, I'm just going to take out some tiny twigs, put in some tiny twigs, I say. I think that path is not very strong so I'm just going to go over it again. Right, I'll give that a bit of a bit of a dry. Take your headphones off. And we'll put in a figure. Quite large. Oops, go the way there.
hold up to. Um, Oh, I can't think much more to do with that. Let's put in a mount. Let's see if it's got anything going for it. I don't think it's quite good as the other one. I wanted it to be busy without being muddy. So let's. Have a, oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, put a shadow cast from that figure. So I'll just I'll do that. Um, and I should put in some shadow for That will do. <coughs> okay, so there we are. It's a, a country lane in Kent. It doesn't exist other than in my imagination. It's got the elements I want. It's got a hedgerow. Could have done better with that. But it's got this, this rapeseed field here, which I quite like. I've left a lot of this unpainted. Um, that was that was the thing that was attractive, uh, and the, the this I put the blue in as you can see, to give an, um, the illusion of depth in front of this middle distance here. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get something from it. If you don't like it, well, <laughs> keep practicing. Bye bye.